Microphone. Uh, Mike, Mike, sorry. Um, there, 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 there have been one or two people who have apologized over the years, and I, I don't remember. I mean, certainly the staff members on the Hill to a number of these senators have revealed things later that were regret. And I, 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 the one of the people who's not in this bill who came out ten years afterwards and and admitted he lied about Anita Hill and apologized was uh, David Brock, um, who's a journalist who had lied. On this subject, and that was unusual, as as I mean, you just said. Um, uh, here, um, Jill Abramson would like. I don't. <laughs> I can't because I don't remember. She's a better brain. Okay. I, I was uh, remembering that Senator Pat Leahy, who all of you saw, was on the Senate Judiciary Committee when I when we interviewed him for our book, Strange Justice. He he recalled being so stressed out um, and overcome with remorse for not being more forceful during the hearings that he actually uh, had to be taken to the hospital. He thought he was having a heart attack soon after. He wasn't, but uh, he was hit really hard. Thanks. Anybody else have any questions? Sure. Stay right back. Okay. I'm curious. After the proceedings, did you, did you, okay, I can be as loud as you want when I say And thank you for your courage. My daughter's a doctor because of people like you. But anyway, the question was, after um, the proceedings, have you ever heard from Clarence Thomas again? No. No. Uh, they, no. They no. Okay. <laughs> or anybody associated with no. no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess if you consider that phone message somewhat associated with it, that, that's probably the only message I've got. Okay. 
this is Joe back here. So in the, the movie implies, I mean, you said you don't know whether that was a hoax or a real phone call, but um, off the record, just among friends, <laughs> <laughs> what's your thought? Oh, well, initially I didn't know whether it was a hoax. Oh, it was absolutely Jenny Thomas, and she did admit it later that that was her, and that she did make the phone call on Saturday morning at 7.30.